Welcome back. We are getting into that time of year where all we need is some cold air, of course, coming in over the lake and we could be talking. We could be talking about lake effect snow. It is the phrase that has shaped winters in western New York for generations, but many recent winters have not seemed as severe as in the past in terms of at least total snowfall. So is there anything we can predict about the upcoming weather based on temperature trends during the summer months? Well, we went through 30 years of snowfall data to find out and to explain it all. We asked for the help of a familiar face who loves the science behind this. Here's meteorologist Heather Waldman reporting tonight from her new home out west. We all know the connection between Lake Erie and a western New York winter. I mean, they go together like lightning delays and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. On average, lake effect snow counts for about a third of Buffalo's total snow for a season. Meteorologists figured that weather relationship out a long time ago. But now a climate connection is coming into sharper focus. Because of human caused climate change, temperatures are warming throughout the entire year in western New York. And winter is Buffalo's fastest warming season. If all of our seasons are warming, that means the annual average temperatures are rising too. And you don't have to look too hard to find proof of that. Four of Buffalo's five warmest years have come in 2000 or later. Records go back to the late 1800s. And 2021 has the potential to crack another top spot. So can we also make a connection between these warming years and the following snow season? Turns out 30 years of snowfall data says it sure looks like it. Check it out. Here's a plot showing how warm or cold each of the last 30 calendar years were compared to the 30 year normal. Eight of those years were at least one degree warmer than normal. Here's how the snow seasons played out after each of those eight years. If the year was between one and two degrees warmer than normal, snowfall was near or even above normal. But if a year was at least two degrees warmer than normal, the potential for snowfall melted away pretty quickly. That's part of a hypothesized climate change trend for Western New York, a sort of tipping point in the relationship between temperature and snowfall. Some warming actually increases Buffalo's snow potential because Lake Erie stays wide open and atmospheric patterns are still cold enough for frequent snow chances. But too much warming pushes the jet stream out of its typical winter pattern, leaving Buffalo open to more sloppy mixes of snow, sleet and rain. Does that mean we can already call this winter a bust? Not quite. After all, it only takes one good lake effect storm to set the tone for a season. But these weather and climate connections show that this time around, it may be harder to get all of those big snow season ingredients together. For Storm Team 2, I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman.